Our story begins in 1906, when a small boy named Walter Elias Disney moves to a farm in Marceline, Missouri. Fast forward, June 3rd, 2023. I made it! Finally! Set out at 6 a.m. this morning on a four-hour drive. It's 11.57 right now, but it's been an exciting day so far. I saw a motorcycle outrun a policeman in Sedalia. I got to drive over the Mississippi River, and I got lost. Again. <laughs> but hey, we're finally here. It's no secret that I'm a fan of Walt Disney. We'll come back to the museum a little bit later. For now, they're having a street fair today. For some reason, it does not surprise me that there's a train car here. And <laughs> look at this, Midget Autopia. Oh, I love it. Pretty pond over there too. There's one of the little Midget Autopia cars. And you can see the little track. That is so cute. There we go. There's the sign if you guys want to read about it. And there's another one. Santa Fe and 2546 Disneyland Railroad. So cool. And yeah, be prepared. There's going to be a lot of me completely nerding out in this video. Train cars all over the place. We've got some music over there. A little fishing game. All sorts of stuff going on. Citizen is helping to put this on, by the way. There's going to be a clock dedication later on tonight. We have some mural painting going on over here. This is so cool. Also, I've been here about five seconds and I already had to get a bag for all the free stuff I've accumulated. I've gotten a t-shirt, some pamphlets, all sorts of stuff. Cool little pirate ship over here. The Muddy Pearl. I love the rules they have. This is so cool. Illustrator Jeff Shelley is over there giving some drawing classes. Bird Island is supposed to be here too. That's the voice of Mickey Mouse, by the way. But I haven't seen him yet. By the way, I'm dressed appropriately now. Oh, he's doing Pluto. He was doing Donald. And there's that clock that I was talking about a while ago. We made it into the museum. There is already so much cool stuff, you guys. This is just the first room. A relic of the past. It's a resort key from the Grand Floridian. Oh man, I could have worn my five legged goat pin today. Didn't even think about that. Oh, I love that belt buckle. That was created for Walt Disney employees in 1933. Celebrates Mickey's fifth birthday. You guys, my jaw just completely dropped seeing this table. Oh, this is amazing. It's bronze with a glass top. Oh, I love Sorcerer Mickey. It's got three of them. And there's the Sorcerer hiding down there too. Oh, this is cool. They're showing a documentary about Walt Disney. I actually own that on DVD or else I'd go in and watch it. You guys should definitely check it out sometime. So cool, they actually have some pieces of the dreaming tree. And I love all those little models. Woof, said the dog. It's a small world. The man, the myth, the legend. Oh, hey! Hidden Mickey. 
lucky. Wonder how many of those things are missed in here. You know, growing up around here, I heard for years that we were getting a Disney park near Branson. <laughs> Silver Dollar City, I love that. All the teacups. Hidden Mickey number two. Well, not really that hidden, I guess. Hey, there's number three down there. Hey, number four. I'm gonna show you guys something cool about these stairs, too. Cool, huh? In the gift shop right now, and man, check out how fast that train's going by. Anyone else ever like to count the cars when one goes by? They saw me coming, by the way. They sell five different lapel pins here. I don't know why this cracks me up so much, but luxury restrooms. Just thought you guys needed to see that. I am completely fighting with these ears, you guys. They keep blowing off in the wind. Yeah, it's my tiny head. I think I got it fixed. I have my sunglasses on the outside of the band now. We'll see if it works. Ooh, I see a big line over there by now. Maybe Mickey's there. And here we are, guys. This is Mickey Mouse. Hi, everybody. Or should I say, hi, everybody. <laughs> awesome, thank you. It's so good You're to meet you. Welcome. Nice to meet Thanks you. <laughs> And I don't think that I can top that for today's video. And there goes another train. No wonder Walt liked trains so much. This place is full of them. One goes by about every three minutes. What was I saying? later. Love trains, but I thought that one would never end. Back here at the car now, I was gonna go out to the family farm, sign my name to the barn, but you know what? I think I'm gonna do that next time when it's not so busy in town. It's about a week and a half later, nearly two weeks by now actually, I waited to do the outro because I wanted some time for reflection, but man, Marceline, what do you even say? Honestly, that town has been on my mind all year, but I couldn't go because the museum was still closed. So I kept checking back every couple of weeks and finally it reopened. And then I learned of this event, so of course it had to be that day. I had it all planned out. I was gonna get there a couple hours beforehand film the town itself, waltz through the main street, film the museum, go to the farm, sign my name at the barn, all that jazz. I even came this close to buying a ticket to the event itself. Well, hi, Stormy. Hanging out down at Dad's today. What was I saying? Marceline. Yeah, the video definitely did not go as planned. I didn't even remember to say the name of the town once while I was there. The footage, well, you guys saw it. It was some of the shakiest stuff I've ever done. You guys saw it actually after it was edited. Beforehand, ugh, man. My cat's staring at me over there. Aside from not mentioning where I was, or a single historical fact that I had planned to, I also didn't ride the Mini-Autopia. I didn't want to stand in line for something that I wasn't sure if I would fit into. I'm pretty tall. I should have tried anyway. The line was pretty short, and when would I get the chance to do that again? But K sera sera, at least I saw it. I had some pretty cool animatronic birds. Didn't show them. What else? Didn't show Main Street. Didn't make it out to the farm. None of that. Yeah, I realize the lighting here isn't that great, but I had to get out of the sun. 
Also had to take a break for a while, fix Dad some lunch so that he wouldn't start trying to eat the cat food. I really wish I were joking about that. And as is typical, and I'm sure will come of no surprise to any of you, I forgot what I was saying by now. I think I got the gist of it, except for one thing. While I was there, I happened to run into Nate of Paging Mr. Morrow, so I'm going to link his video down below. I'm, I'm pointing here, it was just below this, so you couldn't... There it is. <sighs> anyway, like I was saying, his video is actually a lot closer to the one that I intended to make than mine actually was, so go ahead and check it out. He covers everything that I didn't, and he went to the D23 event itself. Ugh. I am stumbling all over my words here. I think that means it's time to end the video. See you guys next week. Don't know where we're going, but I hope you come with me. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend.